one little slide, so sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this down. Last slide, we were talking about Monroe, Democratic, Republican, era of good feelings. Let me let you get this down, pause it, and then listen to me for one minute, and I'll get you on your way. Okay, so Monroe, I'll be honest with you, only thing you really need to know, you didn't even notice have a slide on him, really, so you should have just written around Democratic, Republic, um, Democratic, Republican, era of good feelings. He was negotiator of the Louisiana Purchase, in part, but here's the deal. The Monroe Doctrine is all you need to know. Monroe Doctrine is going to be referred to as America's Self-Defense Doctrine. Absolutely highlight star that. It was a continuation of Washington's neutrality because here's the deal. What it did, it cut the world in half, Western Hemisphere, Eastern Hemisphere, and it says, you stay out of my business and I'll stay out of yours. Essentially, look at a map of the world, cut it in half, and say, Europe, you colonize over there. I'll colonize over here. U.S. recognize the existing European colonies, but the U.S. will stay out of European affairs. But here's the kicker. The U.S. has the right to protect new democracies and new areas in the Western Hemisphere. And no European colonization can happen anywhere in the Americas, which basically comes down to you stay on your side of the line, I'll stay on mine, which will let my side of the line be left all to me, which means all of the resources, all of the money, all of the land is totally mine. Monroe Doctrine also is about neutrality and isolationism because all it's saying here is, is that I won't mess with you, you don't mess with me, we won't get into a war, but all that land is mine. Okay, so Monroe Doctrine. Two minutes. That's all. That's all I needed. Y'all are awesome. Be ready for a quiz you know it's going to come.